Well, good morning. Uh, headed to my client's house. Going to have a, uh, a good lunch and good dinner today. Kind of casual, as normal. Uh, just thought I would uh, bring you guys along with me. It's going to be... It's gonna be a good day. It's freaking gorgeous in Vegas. Again, um, let me get in the car and get on the road. We're gonna head to the grocery store, do some grocery shopping. I'll tell you what we're having. Yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, on the road, headed to Sprouts this morning. N not much to pick up, about 15 items. The, the, the house, my client tells me to use whatever's in their house. So a lot of times if my grocery list isn't massive, it's because we already have things. They've got a freezer and fridge full of food that we use regularly so some people are making comments saying oh only 15 items at the grocery store you're not buying anything we're using everything we've got man i only have to pick up a couple of things uh the client is really flexible allows me to use all the spices the ingredients in their fridge i do all the grocery shopping for the things that we need for that day sometimes like today i'll run to costco because uh, we had a menu change last minute last night and uh I'm gonna go pick up some prime sirloin so we can make one of our menu dishes. First menu dish. It's gonna be a stuffed chicken. You can do that with some quinoa and a little yogurt lemon cream sauce on top. Then for dinner, we're gonna do a little appetizer of a spicy edamame. And then the entree is gonna be a, like a Korean barbecue sirloin beef bowl. I know I'm gonna do it with a uh, side of kimchi and uh, probably probably some white rice. We have to portion everything specifically. So a lot of times people say, oh, these dishes look really simple. This is stuff they can just pick up. It is, but he likes having a private chef cook everything fresh, knowing what's going in the food is important to him. Plus being diabetic portion control, also knowing what's going in it. All right, today, Today's mission, get in and out of this store as quickly as possible. 15 items, shouldn't take but 10 minutes, maybe maybe 12. Oh, I stand corrected, only 14 items. All right, red wine, canned tomatoes, kimchi, let's go. And, all right, we actually have a lot less than 14 items because I didn't take off the meatballs and the edamame has a lot less ingredients than the meatballs do. A little yogurt. So I got the kimchi, yogurt, lemon, got ginger, green onion, sweet potatoes, and the only thing I have left is gonna be the sirloin. I find it I find it interesting that places like Whole Foods, at least in Las Vegas, Whole Foods and Sprouts don't carry prime. They'll carry Angus or something like that, grass fed, but not prime. Is it like that where you live? Does your Whole Foods carry or your Sprouts carry? prime beef. They literally only have like Angus beef, but when your client wants prime, you go get prime. So we'll go get that after lunch and fight Costco. That'll be so much fun. Let's check out, get to the house. All right, so I'm gonna head to Costco. We've got to pick up that prime sirloin for the Korean beef that we're doing tonight with the kimchi, and they want to do it with some a little bit of a little bit of rice, a little bit of rice. Also, just got some information. Uh, contract with this family ends at the end of the year in December. I just got confirmation on that today. A little bummed because this is one of those families that you pick up that are so rare that you just end up just like loving them, like they're such good people. Uh, but nonetheless, that's part of what it means to be a private chef. You'll find that people come and go and every so often you get lucky and get with a family like this that will have you for a few years. But um, they've just got some personal stuff going on that they're going to do and uh, just let me know today. So I've got to recalibrate and change what's going on in my life. Uh, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's next. I've got a couple months to work on it. Birthday, December 2nd, got Christmas, New Year's, all the way through the year. And then who knows, who knows what the beginning of this next year has in store. Let's just go to Costco. We'll talk more about this stuff as time goes on. And here we go into the world of chaos. All right, can I see some free fries? 
They are, uh, they are taking their membership serious at Costco. Just asking Guy for his photo ID to prove that it was him. Guy's like 65. You're gonna frisk him too? I thought Costco would be a lot busier. It's not busy at all today. I thought it would be crazy because of what's going down in the port and them going on strike and maybe people just don't know. Give it time. Let's go get those steaks and get out. Oof. Does your Costco carry American ribeye wagyu? <clears throat> Rumor has it they were fighting over the last chicken bake. Seriously though, have you had their chicken bake? It's probably worth getting in a scuffle for if it's their last one. Steaks in hand, get to the car, get back to the house. Nice little outing. So I was sitting at a stoplight watching my, my video clips that I'm shooting right now today and I noticed in my previous video, in my previous clips, I said that we were having stuffed chicken with quinoa. Well, it, that changed to sweet potatoes because uh, quite frankly, the sweet potatoes at the store look great. I'm only bringing that up because I want you guys to know that things can change at a moment's notice as a personal or private chef, especially with a client like the one I have and he's got such a great palate. The guy loves to eat, which, which brings up part of the problem. He loves to eat a little bit bigger than he needs to be. Also trying to, trying to prevent the diabetes and the pre-diabetic pre disposition that he's in right now. Um, so a lot of times people, reason why I bring this up too is people will say, oh, that food looks really simple. Yeah, it does. It looks simple. It's because it's usually pretty simple, relatively clean, uh, portion controlled. Nothing too much, nothing too over the top, no heavy creams, no big rich dishes because that's, that's not good for somebody trying to lose weight and fighting diabetes, pre-diabetes as well. With that being said, I think there's this misconception that just because people can afford my services that they have to have a five-star dinner or lunch every single meal. Good quality ingredients, great preparation on the food, and it just tastes good. That's what they want at the end of the day. So I think there's this, I, I, I have other private chefs that'll come in here. It's funny, I had one locally here in Las Vegas come into my, into my comments and she's like, I'm embarrassed that you call yourself a private chef. Okay, uh, sorry you're so jealous that you have to try to make me feel bad about what my client wants to eat. If my client wants chicken and rice with peas, I'm gonna make them chicken and rice with peas. It's not for me to say otherwise. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring that up because I think when you guys see my videos, I need you to understand that I'm cooking for a client and I'm cooking what they want, not, not what I want. I can make recommendations, but it's not always gonna go that way. So with that being said, security checkpoint into the kitchen, dinner, Korean beef bowl with kimchi, and probably some jasmine rice or, or maybe sushi rice if they so want. Hey, did you get a good nap? So everything's done. Um, I've got this beef right here ready to go. All I have to do is heat it up and it's good. I added some onions to it, which weren't normally in it. I've got the, uh, the edamame here, just steamed, ready to go. A little white rice, and then here is the sauce that's gonna go on the edamame. Uh, a little chili, crisp with some soy sauce, a little rice wine vinegar, and uh, some sesame oil. So now we just wait for them to get home, plate up, clean up, get back to the kitchen. My kitchen. Uh, this is some Ed's mom. No, it's Ed's mom. Oh. I think that's it. 
on that note, we're done for the day. Let's, uh, let's get to the car, head home, recap. Oh my gosh, what a day. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. That was kind of fun to kind of do a day in a life, a little bit longer format. Uh, I'm thinking about doing this more often, but I'm gonna kind of consolidate the time. I want it to be eight minutes or less. Uh, let me know, what'd you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this. Is this something you wanna see more of? Do you wanna see more of the restaurant reviews? Do you just want it all? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, make sure you like that video. It really helps the channel out a long way. And do me a favor, share this video with somebody you think might just like hanging out with a personal chef that's a little goofy, kind of cute. Uh, anyway, love you guys, thank you so much. We'll hang out again, let's, uh, let's do this. We'll, we'll do this uh, soon. Lots of new stuff coming up, so make sure you hit that subscribe.